podium and say some words about this participatory government because it was his brainchild. Comrade Tethendar Pain, Comrade Pashik Rai, and all my dear comrades. It's indeed a great pleasure, a privilege I cannot describe in words to be amidst you here once again. For the successful beginning and I am sure continuing conduct of this convention in this beautiful place where things as far as promotion prospects of inspectors who are worst in the country, they having taken the lead to host this convention in such a beautiful manner are really praiseworthy. I congratulate all of you. It warms the cockles of one's heart to see something in which one has had a small role to play in its inception, the annual lecture series. It was one way of connecting with those who toiled to give the organization its robust structure that we see today as well as without limiting as I and the, along with the other comrades who thought of the idea three years back of institutionalizing an intellectual exercise also with the hope that it will continue in the years to come and that continuing with such success is something which really reiterates me. Thank you so much for continuing this initiative also to the present committee. And I hope that the lecture series will become a very important event in the annual calendar of AACA for all times to come. I do not. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. Hello. Pinesers inspiring and enlightening lecture, I do not intend to delve into that subject. With the twin motives of trust and reciprocity, which around which he built a mattress of ideas is something which we can refer back many a time to understand the whole idea behind this lecture series and it's it's something remarkable that after Mani sir and Arun sir <coughs> delivered the initial two lectures the third yet another gem that will be an invaluable position of our organization in the times to come. I am sure of that. Somebody has to uh, transcribe all these and uh, post it uh, either on the blog or uh, some appropriate forum for a ready reference. What happens is that the videos often take a uh, long time to watch and uh, because of connectivity problems, audio problems, etc. Someone has to take an initiative to transcribe the three lectures also. I will volunteer with one or two or uh, with whatever records are available with me, recordings are available with me. I will uh, try to type it down and uh, hand over to the committee 
so that they can post it appropriately and preserve it. I would like to take this opportunity to share with you very few thoughts, I won't take much time, which have been constantly at the back of my mind ever since we laid down charge two years back, almost to the date, it was late June in 2014. We often see lot of criticism of the national body from the members, from zonal units, from regional units. All of that is welcome because that shows that the organization continues to have expectations from the rank and file. Once criticism stops, what we call udasinta in Hindi creeps in, indifference. It's not an exact translation of udasinta. Indifference creeps in and that's fatal to any organization. What has been particularly heartwarming for me and the committee of which I was part before the present committee took over is that in the times of transition, when the entire cadre strength went for a toss, it dwindled, the strength depleted, the entire character of the cadre, the age, the maturity, the expectations with which the persons enter the service of inspectors, the regions from which they came, the overall profile of Inspector of Central Excise underwent a dramatic change post restructuring. The cadre itself was transformed beyond recognition. When I see the list of inspectors joining in these present batches, I often joke that uh, we need not have a Combined graduate level examination, we can get the recruitment through gate. That, and uh, or uh, we can have a common examination for POs and uh, our inspectors. This was not the case, say, in the 90s. The profile of persons joining was entirely different. Recruitments were not of the quantum that we have seen often and because of that there were always seniors around to guide new office bearers. The mix of office bearers would be of juniors and seniors, something the seniors would have often experienced would be shared with the younger generation and that transition used to be smooth. In these very difficult circumstances, I congratulate Comrade Abhishek Kamal, Comrade Anupam Neeraj and the entire committee for having done an exceptionally good job of holding the association's flag high in these difficult times. When we criticize anyone as an organization, one thing has to be always remembered that just as the triumph of an association or an organization is not any one individual's, so the shortcoming or the lack of success is also not that of any one individual or any small set of individuals. It is the organization, association as a whole which succeeds and if it doesn't succeed, again it is the association or organization as a whole. We might differ 
dissent, bicker, fight, even come to blows in this hall. But outside of it, we have to be rock solid in our unity. Because all governments are more or less the same. What they give with one hand, they grab back with both hands. And things, as we have seen, have only gone from bad to worse. One department, within that, one cadre, with an association having representation of maybe less than half its entire strength in its membership, doesn't hold much sway with the government. But being firm, consistent and continuously knocking at the doors of the board and beyond, it's very important that we go beyond the board also to the ministry and to the ministers. And for that, one has to carefully cultivate some faces which the board and beyond recognizes easily. There has to be continuity in representations. There has to be a continuous and a very persistent representation of our causes. Before all the powers that be, often we are compared with other associations and say that we do not have that much clout as say association X. To me, the basic reason for our misery is regional disparities in promotions. It is not as is often bandied about as we being uniformed officers cannot make an association or a union which can command such strength. I completely disagree that's a total fallacy and an excuse for non-performance of organization obligations. CCS conduct rules make no difference between uniformed officers and those who don't don uniforms. Then something which is often said is that we do not have uh, very cohesive formation across the nation that is for us to build. If that is the reason why we are not able to achieve our desired ends, that is something which we have to work hard, go to the last inspector, convince that person that the association at all levels right from the division to the commissionate to the zone to the all India level is concerned about his welfare, about the problems that beset him. That's our weakness if you are not able to form a cohesive pan-India organization. And we have to all, as representatives from all parts of the country, to continuously tug away at that. The coming days, as Pine Sir so eloquently indicated, are full of uncertainties for us. It is very essential for the Inspectors Association to have a robust, strong and mature presence to present our cases, to, pres to, to get our concerns addressed appropriately by the Ministry in the days to come. So I urge each one of you to go back to your respective places, build a consciousness there, meet people, take extra efforts to so that the message goes out loud and clear, first to our commissioners and then to the board, through them that if our concerns remain unaddressed for long, there is lot of unrest doing. So long as we remain broken on the issue of 
radial disparities and such other matters, our unity will be compromised and in the longer term, all of us will be losers. Take that for granted. It's a very good idea that is being floated around that the residency period from uh, inspector to superintendent should be curtailed. Wonderful. But should that be at the cost of aggravating regional disparities? That each single one of us has to ask ourselves, apne antaratma se hum puchhe, ki ye, ye jo baat hai, ki kis kiwat pe hum humare residency period ko kam karne ke liye prayasat rahe ya uska virodh karein. ये बात बहुत जरूरी है कॉमरेड्स कि जो करियर प्रॉस्पेक्ट्स रहें वो सबके लिए बराबर रहें वो अगर नहीं रहेगा तो एक मजबूत संगठन बनाना उतना ही मुश्किल रहेगा जितना मुश्किल अब तक भी रहा है इफ यू कंटिन्यू ऑन सच फंडामेंटल मैटर्स एस removal of regional disparities not being a prime issue, if not the prime issue, it's difficult, if not impossible, to bring about even a semblance of unity amongst ourselves. If we continue to do what we have done, the results will also continue to be the same. If we need different results, we have to do different, we have to do something different. With these words, I thank you all once again and congratulate the present body for having a wonderful job. Thank you, Shilong, also once again.